Amid India's tri service exercise tree shul in India's western frontier, Pakistan's ISI forced LET terrorist leadership to cancel its 2nd November rally, fearing potential Indian Brahmos strikes targeting top LET terrorist leaders. Brazil has agreed to send an evaluation team to India, if a full transfer of technology offer is extended for Akash and G surface to air missile system, that would allow Brazil to locally produce and maintain the missile. The Indian Navy is upgrading its Kolkata class destroyers with advanced Lanza N3D Acer radars, that offers 360 degrees coverage, 400 km detection range, and the ability to track 1000 targets simultaneously, including stealth aircraft and sea skimming missiles. Cochin Shipyard Limited and Denmark based Spitzer have signed a landmark letter of intent to collaborate on manufacturing a new generation of electric transverse tugboats in India. The ISRO has successfully launched GSAT-7 our advanced communication satellite, boosting the Indian Navy's secure communication and surveillance capabilities across the Indian Ocean region. Russia has launched its latest nuclear submarine, that will be armed with the Poseidon nuclear torpedo, which is also known as Doomsday Missile, as it is capable of wiping out coastal nations. National Aerospace Laboratories has said that its stealth sentinel loitering munition with 900 km range will be ready for development trials in 2028. Bharat Dynamics Limited will start serial production of the VLSR SAM missiles by 2028, and it will begin replacing the Barak 1 missiles starting with Kolkata class destroyers and Kamorta class anti submarine warfare corvettes. India's plan to buy 87 mail drones worth 30,000 crore rupees might tilt toward foreign design systems, as Israel's Elbit Systems and American General Atomics tie up with Indian firms. The bids are limited to Indian entities, but the trial will start within six months, which may not give enough time for Indian companies to build and test fully indigenous drone prototypes. The deal will be split 64 is to 36 ratio between the lowest bidders, with local assembly and a 10 year support contract. The Hawkeye 2700 and Hawkeye 900 Gallium Nitride based ACE radars developed by Data Patents India Limited, have drawn strong interest from Southeast Asian and Middle Eastern operators. Several regional air forces operating Su-30 and MiG-29 variants are evaluating the Indian radars as cost-effective replacements. The Aeronautical Development Agency and IIT Madras has developed a fiber optic sensing system using optical frequency domain reflectometry, for real-time monitoring of strain vibration and temperature in the Tejas Mark II and AMCA, with initial testing of the system planned on Tejas Mark one aircraft. The system will embed ultra-thin fibers into composite airframes, forming a nervous system that detects micro-stresses with submillimeter precision. The system enables predictive maintenance, reducing downtime by up to 40%, while enhancing safety and performance. The Central Scientific Instruments Organization has begun developing a next-generation smart head-up display using waveguide technology for the AMCA program, and will later replace existing head-up displays on other aircraft. A pre-prototype has been demonstrated to the Indian Air Force, with full development targeted within two years. The compact digital head-up display is 30% lighter, 50% more energy efficient, and offers sharp imagery with a slimmer stealth-compatible design. The DRDO has started flight trials of the indigenous advanced electronic warfare suite for the Tejas Mark 1A, that will enhance stealth and survivability through AI-driven threat detection, gallium nitride-based radar warning receiver, and a lightweight advanced self-protection jammer pod providing 360 degrees coverage. Testing will continue until mid-2026, with deployment targeted for late 2026. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, dropped it.